hello and welcome to yet another video here on YouTube. In this video, we're going to be talking about creating graphics. But if you haven't done already, please click on the subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. The subscribe button is going to be somewhere here, I think, just maybe in front of my my camera it's gonna be somewhere down here if you click there you'll click subscribe and you'll be able to get all of my other videos that i put out on youtube uh, and remember to click comment if you've got any questions i really will get back to you as soon as i can but as i say this video is all about creating graphics now a lot of people have problems creating graphics or they think that they can't create graphics they think it's too difficult it's too hard to tech techie and they say to me it's all right for you Lee you know what you're doing you've got that experience and you know how to use Photoshop and all these sort of things and yes it's true um, the beginning of my career I trained um, specifically in Photoshop and one of my very first jobs was as a graphic designer some 17 years ago now I trained in 1998 in Photoshop so I was using a very old version of Photoshop um, and we were using very old Macs um, but obviously as time progressed we've kept up to date and I know how to use Photoshop but the thing is most people don't know, don't know how to use Photoshop but even more so they don't even have it it's too expensive, it's out of their reach. They want something that they can use to create graphics um, that is more accessible to them. So, so why do we want graphics? We want graphics for all kinds of things. So we're talking about creating images for social media, whether that's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, we're talking about thumbnails for videos that we upload on YouTube, um, other things, blog posts, logos, um, it, can, it can be anything, it can be things to put on printed stationery, letterheads, um, it can be we're creating an ebook and we want some graphics for that, whether it's the, the front cover, it's um, a little header image for each chapter, we might just want a uh, infographic, we want, might want to create some kind of infographic that tells a story, okay, and up until now, for most people, they think, I just can't do this. Um, and the only way to do it, if they need it, would be to pay someone with experience to do it. Um, but now I'm going to show you a way that anyone can create graphics, right? And it's with a piece of software called Canva. Okay, that's C-A-N-V-A dot com. Just go to the website and this is what you're going to get. You're going to get, the, you're going to get this website here. And you just need to sign up, Facebook, Google, or with your email, whatever, it's free, okay? Now, I'm just going to log in, and hopefully I can remember the password for it. And the answer was no, I couldn't remember the password, but we have logged in finally, which is great. So once you've logged in, you're going to be presented with a page that is something like this. It may change, they're changing things all the time. Um, but it's going to look something like this and what you're presented with is a number of examples of things that you can do so what they've done is they've presented a social media presentation poster facebook post blog graphic a4 and card and basically what we can do is we can click on one of these and we can start editing that uh, and that's pretty cool okay and you're starting straight away but what makes this so powerful is this. We click on the more button there, and then suddenly we're presented with, look, look how many different types of graphics we can create. This is insane. I mean, social media, blog graphics, so it's it, the different types of social media. So we've got Twitter, we've got social media, we've got Pinterest graphic. Now, Pinterest are a portrait um, in the way that they're created, the Facebook post, the Facebook app, a Tumblr graphic, an Instagram post, we know that Instagram is square. Now we've got the documents, we've got letters, we've got different, we've got a magazine here, um, certificate, resume, and what's brilliant is that if you click on this, 
these elements will be there and we can then just edit them. We can edit them. That's the beauty of this, okay? Uh, blogging, so we've got these, all these different things, an infographic, we'll ever click on that um, in a little time more. Here we've got use custom dimensions, we can click there and it pops up with the custom dimensions and if we specifically want something, just say we found out uh, some kind of dimension that we, we want, we, and it's to say 425 by 111, we can put that in and it will it will populate that page for us, which is brilliant, okay? So let's just move ahead and find uh, find something that we can we can change social media. Let's go with the YouTube thumbnail and see what we've got. So when you click on one of these, it, it opens up um, a, a new page and it has the thumbnail to the exact size that we want. So you can see here, we've got the white space. That is the exact size for a YouTube thumbnail. And what we can do is we can go across here and the first, the first you got, you basically got five options here, search, layouts, elements, text, background, and uploads. So from layouts, you can, you can search through here and you can click on these and drag them across. Now, if you click on them, if they've got like a dollar sign, that basically means you've got to pay for them. So that's their, their paid upgrades. But as you can see, look, free, free, free. There's lots of things that are free here. So just say we're going to click on, we'll just click on that. And as I said, it's automatically, it's put that there, okay? And what I can do now is I can click on the individual elements. So I've clicked on the picture and I can click on some of the options that are at the top. So the first one you've got is filter. So we can change some of these filters, kind of like Instagram and some of these uh, software packages. And you can see we're changing it. We're changing the color, uh, the feel, the look of it instantly. Uh, and we can change the intensity to different intensities if we want. Okay, we can crop it slightly differently if we want to. Uh, we can move the picture into here. And then once we're happy, now we've got that there, we click the tick, we can flip it if we wanted to, etc., etc. Now, we've got the text. So, we can click it and we can we can type something else. The journey begins okay and what we can do is we can highlight that and we can change the font there we go we've changed the font we might want to change the color to black and we have bold and italic if, if it's applicable we've got the text align features so we've got these kind of cool things so that's what we can do so we'll just say for instance i'm not going to I'm going to change that. And what you can see is that if you can see these dotted lines, that basically keeps it so it's centered. And when I go to the middle here, you can see I can move it that way as well across the center. So it's these guys that really help you to uh, put it exactly where it would look best. Okay. So in addition to this, right? Uh, in addition to just creating and amending the ones that we've created, we can find other things to put on our page. So, well, for instance, we could say, Do you know, I want to delete that picture, every picture that's there, and I'm going to look for free photos. These are the elements. And we can start choosing other pictures. So we can flip through here and say, yeah, some of these are pretty cool. And I put that there and it's on top of my text, I'm going to click on Arrange and I'm going to send it back. So then it gets sent to the back. I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to put it in the corner there. And I can drag it out by clicking on the arrows in the corner to pull it exactly where I want it. Again, I can move it slightly like that. And then now I want to bring my text down. I want to bring maybe my text so it's right in the center so it pops. Um, we can now go back to the elements and we can we can look at some of the other things. There's so many different things here, frames uh, that you might 
want to frame things. Um, shapes. So again, we're going to have these shapes um, that you might want to to put there. So somehow you can uh, you could change that, and you might want to just stick that there, and then I can click on it. I can click copy, and it does a copy of it. Again, then I hover over it, I bring it across here, it makes sure that it's kept in line, and then we've got our shapes. So there's all these different types of shapes, hearts and uh, stars, <laughs> got there in the end, other shapes and boxes, and see something like this, we might want to click on the top, and we might want to uh, shape, uh, change it so it fits just around the text. like so so that's pretty cool okay so we've then got text we might want to add some other text in a different style so let's see if there's anything that um that might be cool to add to this picture as you can see if it says free we can grab it and then we can we can just add it to the page just seeing if there's anything that as you can see, we've got like well, this postage stamp, oh, pretty, pretty funky. Um, we're going to change that to that, and then we're going to stick that in the corner, just like a an old school postcard. And we could change the text if we wanted to. We can change the thing to say twenty five. Um, we could change the color, as you can see here. So we might want to change that to that. Uh, that or even that say black that's cool so yeah so the next thing we've got is that we can we've got backgrounds again we might want to get a shot of this picture so we can just delete that I just clicked on it and then press the backspace the delete button on my keyboard and then I might want to just I might just want it simple I might just want a background um, like just say like that for instance and it just hits it straight in the background I didn't even have to alter it just put it there it looks really really cool okay now I can select things like that and I can move them just by um, running the cursor over it and it just selects all of them puts it there it looks really really cool and the next thing we've got is uploads uploads so if we click here we can upload some images from our computer to play with, okay? So let's just upload some things that we've got there. Uh, right. So we've got, we might want the, we've got the YouTube button there. That has just uploaded it there. And once that's finished, we should be able to use it. So we can click on that and it's throwing it in there. So we might want to, uh, put that in there somewhere Just say like that uh, See what else we've got uh, I've got a chap here I'm just gonna move that over there. I think just for example, so we've got the guys upload in there and We can just drag and drop or we can click We're gonna stick him in there like that And he's there and the reason why this is it's transparent around him is because it's a PNG file. I searched for a file that is .png, and typically that will be an image that has been cut out so the background is transparent. And when it sits on top of something, you don't get the white in like the square. Okay, so that's another cool thing when you're searching for images. Search for the .png, or just say for this, I search for a uh, guy space PNG and I found this chat you probably search you'll be able to find it yourself so that's there um, yeah so as I say we can just we can move these things about we can change the different stuff there as I say I could click on him and I could flip him horizontally if I wanted to just like that so as you can see this is so easy I mean anyone really can do this 
And then once you once you're finished, once you're happy with what you've created, right? We click on this button here, download. Uh, PNG, JPEG, however you want, um, and then we click download. Saving your design, hold tight, preparing your design. Right, so you can see it's just automatically downloaded it. Let's click on it, and there you go. Really decent quality. I could upload that to wherever I wanted, um, and it, it looks really, really cool. Man. So yeah, I could then share it on Facebook, Twitter. I could email it to myself as well, which is another really cool thing uh, because you might want it on email, and it works. It works really well. So let's just jump back and um, go to layouts. No, let's um, let's just cross this off for now, right? And we go back to here. And this is one of the things I want to show you about all of these ones that have got these settings. Now, if we go to infographic, so we click on that, it's going to upload it, right? And what we'll do is we'll find an infographic that is free. And look. There's quite a few, quite a few, um, quite a few different ones. So you can click on it and it, it puts it in there. We don't like that one. We can, we can click on this and we can zoom to see what it, what, what it's all about. And once it's here, we can now change this and we can say, do you know, we want 11 and we want ways to create logos. I'm not happy with the color. Um, I want to change it to the dark one. And these are the colors. So you, these are the colors that have been used within it. Okay. They've been the colors that have been used within it. Right, and then as I say, we can change the text here on all this, and we can go to elements, and we can say um, icons, and we can get some different cool little icons. So we want to put that one in there. So, for instance, we might just say it's free, and then we can. Well, you can throw in this little graphic, for instance, just to have a bit of fun. We find other things here, and, and we can, as I say, we can use these to create our own infographics. Because we know infographics are all about little logos and pictures and things like that. We've got ticks, pluses, minuses. We've got fruits and light bulbs and documents, uh, watches and buildings. And you can see I'm scrolling down. I'm, you'll be able to find so many different things, and you could you could probably click it in the right car. Uh, it's probably not going to find something. There, we did find something. Look, and then we find all different things. We can we can see whether there's a free one, uh, and there is a free one. Look, so we've got a free little car there, and we can we can stick the car on there if we feel the need. Okay, and uh, we can put it in how we want it. So it's right next to the problem. Um, we can also go back to elements, and we can choose charts again another really cool feature of canva so we can create charts on here um, all different types of charts different types of graphics do you got here look like a facebook thing here <laughs> it's absolutely mind-blowing i mean this is one of the best free tools on on the internet today so there you go, two likes. Um, and you can just change it up and you can just change all the different things. As I said, we've got our infographic there. We've got like a kind of brownie coffee-ish color there. I'm decided, don't actually want, I want a yellow now. No, it looks crazy. Maybe we want that. That looks pretty cool. I've changed it. There's just so many ways to change and create your graphics. And once you've done, you click download 
Um, and then once you go to uh, your main page um, on the front end of Canva, you've got the things that you've created here, uh, generating a preview, going a bit slow, not sure why. But yeah, so you have the ability to create folders, share, invite teams, all different types of things here. So realistically, Canva's your buddy. Canva's your buddy if you want to be creating awesome graphics, thumbnails, images, infographics. I mean, it's superb. And as I said, you can import photographs of yourself. Just say it's your thumbnail, and you want to have a photograph of yourself and your th YouTube thumbnail um, or your, uh, your, your image or whatever you're creating, you can click on the upload and you upload. And then all the images that you upload will already be there. They will already be there because when you click on the uploads, it remembers the ones that you've uploaded and you can just drag, drag and drop them across. So it's really, really cool. So I hope this video has been really, really helpful in helping you to create graphics, whether you're a beginner, uh, whether you're advanced, whether you've not heard of Canva, whether you're just trying to find out some information about how to use Canva. I hope it's been important and I hope it's been helpful for you. Uh, and if it has, remember to click the uh, thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos that will be coming every single week. I've been Lee. We'll see you next time.